Hello guys, I am Lucian L and welcome back to Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony We're heading out to the cafeteria after the crazy revelations that we had last episode So let's talk with the people, let's see in what situation they are Cause uh, Shuichi seemed to be in a pretty bad spot last time uh, I don't know why I opened this up, Let, let's check, let's just check Okay, I, I was gonna say, let's just check where everybody is, but I guess they're just at the... Yeah, there you go. Uh, let's, yeah, let's not fast travel, just in case we find someone here. Uh, but I don't know. It's probably gonna be awfully quiet, if I'm getting the tone of this whole chapter correct. I forgot the name of this chapter, by the way. I, I don't exactly remember what, what it was. But it's definitely something related with the, with the crazy revelations that we've just had. Oh, hi. It's just us? Everyone was in the dining hall. Besides Kokichi and Kaito. Oh. But mentally, they weren't really there. The life had gone out of their eyes. I imagine so. Everyone here looks terrible. Really? Even I look terrible? Well, your face always looks like that. What are we talking about? We're discussing how we want to die, right? <laughs> What? Oh wow, you at least took a shower or something, yeah. I wanna go without suffering. Maki, can you do something about okay. that? Sure. But before that, take a look at this. <laughs> what? <gasps> Just sure? Not even saying like- Oh, flashback light. Oh, that's- Wait, where did you get that? What? Oh, I couldn't- For some reason, <laughs> didn't let me um, at first. Maki, why did you have that? I see. It was on top of the table when I went to the dining hall this morning. <gasps> oh! It was just sitting there? Kokichi probably just put it there. Well then. To confirm the truth, perhaps? If we use that flashback light, we may recover memories that corroborate his story. So we're supposed to use the flashback light to confirm the truth Kokichi told us. We don't need to confirm anything. We saw the world the outside world for ourselves. Hey. Yeah. Do you wanna die comfortably? I can help you, but we should check this flashback light first. Huh? Sure, I mean, I don't want to die. Yeah, what? Why do we even have to do because. that? It's the only thing we can do right now. If we're going to die, then we might as well do anything we can. We'll have no regrets that way. That's right. And even if it's dangerous, it wouldn't matter anymore, right? Either way, there's nothing for us to lose. We don't have any hope left. Well... So let's do what we can. Oh yeah, I forgot Kaito was, yeah, kidnapped by Kokichi. <gasps> well, okay, things won't end up any worse than they already are. Mm. Oh no. So, when you kill me, will it be like I'm falling asleep? It's decided. It's decided. <laughs> Kibo, Shuichi, are you fine with that? <sighs> yes, very well then. Uh, okay. Yeah. I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. And thus it was decided, fairly painlessly. A flashback light suddenly appeared. Nothing could be more obvious and suspicious. But because our spirits were already broken, we had nothing to lose anyway. Sure, yeah. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. Okay, please do. Maki switched on the flashback light. And at that moment... Uh, the world... Flipped upside down again? Wait, we had that before, right? Turned inside out. Yeah, yeah, okay, we've had that before. Okay. And again, yeah, the cutscene is going slow. Hope's... Wait, Hope's Peak? No, Hope's... Hope's Peak! That's it, Hope's Peak! Biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The... The 70th... Uh, the 78th. What? Okay, luckily, he delayed the... The, the cutscene, because I was able to read it. That's... That's it! I remember! Everything is connected. And we had forgotten. We had forgotten that everything is connected. That... Whoa, 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 whoa! Yeah, this is Hope Speak! It all started at that academy. A government-backed school that nurtured the most talented students in various subjects. Hope Speak Academy! Whoa! And the event that tore that school apart. Changed the world! Yes! Oh, is this gonna connect with the anime? Or just with the games? The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. It triggered the wave of terrorism and war across the world. Humanity's true despair. 
Half the world was destroyed as a result of the terrible violence, and the tragedy was caused by a single high school girl. Yep, yep, Junko, the ultimate despair, Junko and Ashima. She used whatever means necessary to paint the world in despair. Wait, so it is connected. I heard that it wasn't connected with a, like it was an alternative reality. Yep, this is the first game. What? The killing game of the 78th uh, class of Hope Speak Academy was the same way. Trapped by the ultimate despair, forced into a killing game. Yep. But after Junko and Ashima died, the case was closed and the world began to slowly recover. Yep. Yep. But Junko's disciples, the remnants of despair, weren't done uh, so in chaos. The future foundation fought against them, trying to restore order. Yeah, yeah, the second game. The war between hope and despair grew more and more extreme. The fight raged on, but became to a sudden, but came to a sudden end. Yeah, thanks to the boy Makoto. And right then, it was from then on that we remembered. It was the beginning of our truth. Yep. And that's when that happened. One day, terrible despair suddenly rained from the sky. A countless number of meteorites fell upon the world, carrying an unknown virus. Oh. And boldened by the overwhelming despair, the remnants cried, Humanity deserves damnation. Okay, so it's the remnants of despair that are that were preaching that. Wow. The future foundation was overwhelmed by their renewed despair and quickly lost influence. But then. But then? Oh, the new hope speak. Yeah, Makoto! Makoto Naegi, together with the former members of the Future Foundation, started the Gopher Project! Oh, so that was Makoto's idea. Or not Makoto's idea, but the the, the hope students, the, the remaining hope students, yeah. Only genius can overcome nature, and only hope can overcome despair. Our young geniuses must escape this earth to become the seeds of the future. That is the only hope for humanity. With those principles, the Gopher Project began, and 16 Hope's Peak students were selected. Oh, wow. We were those 16 students. That's it. We weren't all attending different high schools. We were all attending the revealed Hope's Peak Academy. So why is there an, is, does it have a, a new name, this, this academy? What is this? Like the gifted juvenile thingy? We were the students that applied after learning Hope Speak was revealed. Also, it's not that far into the future. So I heard another study that was really far into the future of the first Danganronpas. And the new Hope Speak was like the last in that it accepted applications for talented students and cultivated ultimate talents. Yeah, and the principal was Makoto. Hope Speak Academy was a large school, so we were all in separate classes. But we were all students of Hope Speak Academy. That almost sounded like I said something else <laughs> from the candidates. The 16 of us were selected for the Gopher Project because... No, we weren't selected. We were the only ones left. Oh, wow. Oh, the virus. Okay. The mysterious virus from the meteorites had spread rapidly around the world. Wow. The entire world was on the brink of extin extinction. Hope had lost triumphant. Hope had almost triumphed, but cruel despair came roaring back to overtake the world. Whoa. Hey. But we just happened to be the to be immune to the virus. That was the reason why we were chosen to the Gopher Project. For the Gopher Project. Wow. I finally remembered. Yep, yep. All of this. That world. This world, it's all connected! Wow! Yay! Oh, what if the loading screen changes to this? That, that's, that will be cool. That's it! Everyone, did you all remember? Yes. I can vividly recall everything now. Yes. How could we forget something so important? Yeah. We were students of Hope Speak Academy. Mm. We were the symbols of hope and trusted with the survival of humanity. Okay. Except... For one person. Just, just like, yeah, just like with uh, Junko. It, it's the same concept. Kokichi Oma, the mastermind behind this killing game. His organization's real identity. Wow, the remnants of they despair? Were the remnants they of were despair. the remnants of despair. Wow. That's right. 
The cult organization out to destroy the Gopher project. Oh, what? That means he controls the remnants of despair. I'm talking way too high, sorry. He is the closest to the ultimate despair. Oh. Oh, wow. Hmm. It's so obvious. A killing game like this could only be done by the remnants of despair. Wow, and just like that, hope has been Last restored. Trials. Monokuma. The students of Hope's Peak Academy. Yep. It's all just like Junko and Oshima's killing game. Holy crap. Only someone who worships the ultimate despair would replicate that killing game. Oh, for sure. Which means... That this killing game is just like the one that came before. It's a battle between hope and despair. A killing game that admires hope and dark despair. Wait a minute. Wait, hold on. If this was such an important killing game, then why did Kokichi abandon it? Uh... That tells us something the remnants of despair will do. They admire Junko and Oshima, right? He made an elaborate plan to cause us to despair, but he got bored of that plan. Jeez. Wanting to feel the ultimate despair of your plan being ruined. That's the ultimate despair for you. Yeah, despair has always been like a weird, a weird concept. Interesting. Hey! What's wrong, Mikey? So what? Nothing. I'm just not convinced. It's okay. It's probably fine, though. It's not a big deal. Okay. Are you sure? But... I mean, if something doesn't add up, you know, it, it, we, we should doubt it, I think. We finally learned the truth, but we still can't do anything. Even if we get out of this academy, the outside world is still destroyed. There's no hope left for Everyone. us. No, we just need to become that What's hope. Wrong? What's with you all of a sudden? If I must. If all hope is lost, then it's up to us to become that hope. After all, we are students of Hope Speak Academy, aren't we? We are all that's left of the 16 who survived the battle between hope and despair. Listen closely. If we give up now, everyone who fought on the side of hope will have fought for nothing. That's true. Fought for nothing? I heard it. That's what my inner voice is telling me. Huh. That no matter what, I cannot abandon hope. I cannot give up. I mean, again, kibo means hope. So that makes sense. That's what it's urging me to do. Leave it to me. So I will not despair. Even if it's only a little, I will still move forward with hope. Uh, okay. Kibo. Listen closely. Right now, there is no use in thinking about whether our lives have meaning or not. Because as long as we are alive, we still have the power to decide that meaning for ourselves. That's what I believe hope is. I see. Yes, that's what hope is. You're right. We're the students of the new Hope Speak Academy, rebuilt as the symbol of yeah. hope. If we, the students of Hope Speak, give up, the world really will be plunged into despair. You're right! Agreed. I got it. In the end, it's all about willpower. I'm gonna live till the end and never give up. <laughs> we won't be able to do anything in that destroyed world. Great, huh? But making the impossible possible is what magic is all about. Mm. It's a pain, but it'll be worth it. I'll live. I'll live for a hundred million more years. <laughs> you guys. You're right. Let's do it. All right. Let's fight together against despair. Yes. As long as we stand together without giving into despair, we will find a new hope. Wow. We all stood in unison. We each felt the power of hope coursing through us, driving our bodies. The hope born in this academy, a tree of life with roots down deep. It was supporting each and every one of us. Wow. Yeah. Oh, why is the f free time music sounding? Motivation is rushing through my entire body. <laughs> this is the power of hope. Uh... With a laugh like that, you sound less like a mage and more like a wicked witch. <laughs> Kokichi may have left the flashback light to make us give up. But if that was his plan, it failed. It's true. It does seem as though Kokichi's plan went wrong somewhere. The only person who can give us flashback lights is Kokichi. Hey! Is that right? Uh, so, what's our plan now? What are we going to do about Kokichi? That's right. We've gotta stop you know who, the remnant of despair, or this despair will never end. Okay. We have to save Kaito too. You're hey, right. Maki! Yeah, of course! You're right. He's so stupidly positive, he's just the kind of guy we need at a time like this. That's right. With Kaito by our side encouraging us, then, if, even if we are the only people left, I think we can still find a new hope. Yeah, that's exactly right. I knew that, even in a situation like this, he'd think of something. Uh... 
The problem is, where are Kokichi and Kaito? Okay. They're in the XSL hangar. Huh? Both of them? Kokichi did say that Kaito will be trapped in there, but... Okay. By chance, I happened to see Kokichi leaving the hangar during nighttime yesterday. What? By chance? Really? Right, right! But the truth is, you were worried about Kaito and were watching the hangar all day. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Looks like that was the case. So what? It's not like I was worried about Kaito or anything. Oh my gosh, are you serious? I won't get Sundar on us right now. I just had nothing else to do. Also, I'm used to watching others, so it wasn't any trouble. It's important for assassins to watch their targets and think of ways to kill them. Stop it. Stop, stop. We were just getting mushy, but you had to make it all bloody instead. 100%. We know they're in the XSL hangar, but how do we get them out? Yeah. That is, By uh, the way. The hangar has an alarm system that will go off if anyone approaches the shutter. Yep. On top of that, Kokichi has the alarm remote key to shut off that alarm system. Uh. And there's also an electric barrier, right? You need to do something about that too. Yeah. Yes. Yes, but even approaching the control panel will set off the alarm too. Wait, is that right? I remember that was the truth. So, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, Kaito activated the first time. So many problems right from the start. What should we do? It's okay. It'll be fine. I think I know how to stop the alarm system and the electric barrier. Does she have an idea? Wow. Okay, Maki, let's hear it. Uh, um... How do you plan to get past the alarm system and barrier? Okay. With the electro hammer. Oh yeah, 24 hours. So it should be deactivated by now. It should be reactivated. Well... If we hit the control panel with it, it should disable the electric barrier. We did the same thing to the electronic lock in the exit to the outside world. But. But it won't work the same way on the alarm system, will it? The alarm will go off before we can even get close enough to use the electro hammer. That's true. I don't think so. Oh, then we'll use this. Oh, is that? Yeah, a grenade. When did you take it? What the heck? Not exactly a bomb, though. Even if it's called an electro bomb, it jams electronic signals by scattering particles that interfere with electromagnetic waves. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. For two hours, any and all electronic devices within 50 yards will be completely disabled. It's perfect for any secret activities too, since it doesn't leave any debris behind. This invention is extraordinary, but I only have three of them. So I need to use them carefully. You guys will have to settle for the electro hammers. But... Why do you have that, Maki? There were only three and I thought Kokichi had them. <laughs> I stole it from his pocket. Wow, that was... Oh, that's why she did okay. that during that time. Yeah, that was smooth. Yay! Okay. Clap and hell for Maki. As expected, your kleptomania and terrifying glare are both first class. Kleptomania? Oh, wow. <laughs> the, 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 terrifying, the terrifying glare part was a joke. So Thank can you, you stop learning much. at me? Nice work, Maki. We can use that electro bump to get inside the hangar. No. Not only that, it will disable all communication. Yep. Okay. That should include the remote control Kokishi uses for the exercise. Yeah. Wow. 100%. It's gonna be awesome. If we use the electro bomb in front of the shutter, it should affect the entire hangar. <laughs> then Kokishi will be good as, a bu as butt naked. All he'll be able to do is hold his crutch and run. No. But he might still be able to control an exercise from inside. Oh, oh get inside my. an exercise? But, but naked? No. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure he'll be clouded. <laughs> I see. Then we should bring the electro hammers as a precaution against the exercise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dang, I just left mine sitting around without charging it. Sorry. Sorry, but I did too. Hmm. It takes 24 hours to charge an electro hammer, so we have to wait until tomorrow morning. What? Huh? We're going to wait until tomorrow morning? What about the hangar? Uh, we don't really have a choice, do we? Without the electro hammers, it is impossible. Remember. Maki, I know that you don't want to wait a single minute more than necessary, but we shouldn't try this until tomorrow, when everyone else is ready. Uh, that's true. I don't necessarily agree with that, yeah. Fine, that's what we'll do then. This time we'll definitely kill him. K kill? Wait! No, Maki, you can't! Even if he is a remnant of despair, that doesn't... That punk. But if we kill him, then everything will end. We have no other choice. 
For that reason, I will just kill him. No. But you can't. You're right. I understand how you feel, Maki, but we'd feel bad after we kill him. Don't. It will be no difference than the killing game that has caused us so much suffering. Yeah. Yeah, that's the sort of thing the remnants of despair or Kira will do. Wow, which one? Death Note or JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Okay. But <laughs> but Kaito said that killing is wrong, remember? I knew it. So we can't. Okay, okay. Fine. If everyone thinks that way, then I'll listen to you guys. Well... But if it seems like anything dangerous is going to happen, then I'll definitely uh... kill him. Wow, Mac is actually reliable. No. No, she's dangerous. There's nothing more dangerous than a heated Mackey roll. Hmm. If a Mackey roll gets too heated, you could burn your tongue. <laughs> Again, th th did you see those eyes? They were like a predator looking at its prey. Wow. Uh, you may have deserved that, Himiko. Yeah, yeah, that's for Kaito only. But it's true that it's quite unexpected. I didn't think we'd be able to stand together as one again. And it's thanks to Maki. While we were at sedentary, feeling sorry for ourselves, she was planning. I suppose it might also be thanks to Kaito. Because Kaito was worried about her. She promised to work hard to do her best. Ah, uh, of course, if I pointed that out, she'd ask me if I wanted to die again. Got a minute? What are you looking at? Sorry. Do you want to die? No. <laughs> sorry. Hey. Let's do our best. Then the three of us can train together again. Uh, hey, okay. yeah, right. Nice, let's do that. We finalize our plan to get into the XSL hangar tomorrow morning. Until then, we will wait for the Electro Hammers to recharge and finish preparations. We split up, focused and determined. Okay, so am I in my room? Yep. So, free time or what? All right. First, we need to charge the Electro Hammer. But I shouldn't just stand around waiting. I need to make up for lost time. There has to be something I can do. Nice job, Mr. Ultimate Detective. That was a wise call, Chuichi. But well, your challenge is useless now. The mystery of the killing game, the secret of the outside world, the mastermind's identity. They're all solved. We don't need a detective anymore. That is the true ending. No, that's not true. There has to be something I can right. do. I should scout the area. It will be a good idea to check out the scene before we execute the plan. And I'm worried about Kaito. Yeah, he was in a pretty bad, yeah, bad shape. He's hurt and he's sick. Yeah, and sure, I'm sure he doesn't want me to worry about him. But I have to. Uh, okay. Alright, I'll go. Okay, so it's not free time. We actually have some stuff to do. Can I do something about this? Or, or is it charging? It won't let me select it, so... Yeah, let's leave for now. And let's look around if there's anyone uh, that wants to talk. Oh, like Kibo. Hey, there you go. Hi, Kibo. Shuichi. Oh, Shuichi. Um, We must rescue Kaito, no matter what. If we are to defeat Despair and find a new hope for ourselves, I'm certain we'll need him for our side. Okay. Yeah, you're right. It was thanks to Kaito that we're out... <laughs> It was thanks to Kaito that we are all working together. All right. Let's save Kaito and stop Kokichi together. This is the beginning of our new hope. Anyone else? Is uh, the girl Tsumugi here? I shall see how Kaito is doing. Okay. There's a moment to worry, but blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay. So maybe she's out here? All right. So let's go see Kaito. I think there's the the main uh, thing that we need to do right now. I'm, I'm thinking of going to the casino, but I don't know if that's a good idea right now. Oh, hi! There, there you are, Sumugi. Okay, how you doing? Could it be? Did you come out of your room because you couldn't call down? Oh, wow. Huh? Mm hmm Yes, that's it! <laughs> okay. Yeah. I guess. I was the same. I couldn't stay still. Uh this morning, I barely had the willpower to get out of my bed. It's all thanks to Maki. Yeah. I can hardly believe it. Maki, who was so <laughs> Maki, who was so soon that at the beginning, is now the one pulling us uh. along. But it's probably because of Kaito's influence. Huh? Oh, what do you think that? Um. Huh? Why? You can tell just by looking. Maki is interested in Kaito. Otherwise, she wouldn't be watching the hangar in the the whole time like she is. Uh, okay. Yeah, I suppose that's huh? true. 
pretty shocked. Were you guys in some reverse love triangle situation? Uh, um, no, it's not like that. Yeah. Wow, I didn't mean to shock you like that. I just meant to mock you about uh, Mackie. Um. I wonder. When we were at Hope's Peak Academy, did we have fun and tease each other like this? Okay. Probably. Well, we were in different classes, but I'm sure we had friends but... like that. Even if we can't go back to that time, there's still hope left in the world. I'm going to keep living with confidence till the end. That's my bow as one of the last students of Hope Speak Academy. Good, good, very nice. So where is Maki? Is she like stalking from above? Or is she like around here? I don't think so. Okay, so can we open this with this or... This was the key after all. Oh, what? Oh, we can just go through. Okay, I thought for some reason that we couldn't. Yeah. But we can. So, yeah. If I keep going, I should reach the hangar. If Kokichi is in the hangar, there's a good chance the exes are, uh, are patrolling nearby. I should be careful. Oh. Oh, wow. I actually hear the exes. Okay, let me just check this. Obeying these announcements makes me feel like a character in a story. Wow. Okay, so I, I can hear the exercise. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I hear them very close. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh. What? They're on Monokuma? Huh? Monokuma? This is the first time I've seen him in a while. Are the exercise protecting him? Maybe? But why now? And why all four of them? Because he's controlling them, right? So why will he do that? What if the Axie cells are here? They're in guard... Ah, the Axie cells are in here. They aren't guarding the guard... The, the hangar. This is my chance, yeah. I should hurry, but carefully. I don't want to draw attention. Wait, so how do I move quietly? Oh. Oh. What? Oh, it's like, yeah, like sound effects. That's cool. Okay, so where is the hangar? Oh, here. Oh, hi. Here we are. The alarm is enabled. Huh. The electric barrier is up, too. I can't get close to the shutter. And I only saw four exiles. I don't know where the other one is. Perhaps inside the hangar? Mm. Probably, yeah. Hopefully, I can find a good spot to survey the scene. If I remember correctly, there's a bathroom with a small window there. Oh, yeah. So maybe this in this side there will be... Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't, I didn't realize it will be... Yeah. Oh. There's a window. The bathroom window? Can I see inside from there? I peeked into the small window. And I saw a silhouette on the other side. Oh, is it Kaito? Hey, Kaito! What are you doing here? Kaito! Don't shout, stupid. Kaito <laughs> will hear us. Uh, is he close by? No. I'm locked up in this bathroom, oh. but Kokichi's just outside that door. Makes sense. It'll be bad news if he sees you here. He's got the exosols with him. Yeah, but they yeah, are doing true. that weird dance. Wait, so what are you doing here? Well, here to scout the area. What am I doing here? Saving you, of course. What? By yourself? No, not yet. No, I'm just scouting the place. Tomorrow morning... Well, you should have exp uh, explained that better. We're all coming to rescue you. All of you? Yeah. It was Maki's idea. Hey. Honestly, I, I had given up. We had all given up. Yeah. But not Maki. She did everything she could to get you back. Yeah. It's because she believes in you, Kaito. She knows that you would never give up, no matter how bad things got. Nice. Y yeah, of course. I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. All right, Even of if course. the world has ended and humanity has gone extinct, I can't give up. It'd be a crappy story if the hero gave up so easily. Wow. Yeah, that's right, Kaito. Uh, Don't you worry. I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. Something's gonna all go wrong. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. Nice. There's something I want to ask him. I don't care if he's overconfident or acting. I just want to hear him say, don't worry, it'll be okay. It's just, I'm happy you guys want to save me, but stay safe, okay? Getting I appreciate close to an it. Exosol is dangerous, even if you've got an electro hammer. Got it. Sure, uh, yeah. By the way, are you feeling okay? Apart from the injury, obviously. Who, me? 
Yeah, of course. It's nothing. Ugh. Anyway, Kokichi should be back soon. I don't know. So we better end our chat. Ah, okay, sure. And hey, Kaito, about what happened with Gonta. Shuichi, I leave the rest to you. Uh. What? While I'm gone, you gotta support everyone. Oh. Especially Maki Roll. She can be reckless sometimes. Oh, no. Yeah. You're an impressive detective, through and through. You might not only reach the truth, but something even beyond it. Oh, wow. Foreshadowing? And don't forget, you're not alone. Don't huh. try to do everything yourself. It's only going to wear you out. When times are hard, you got to rely on your friends. What is this? What is happening? Something is going to go wrong. Rely on your friends. That's it. That's what I've been neglecting. I believe in you. So I'm leaving the rest to you for now. Hey, I appreciate it. You got About, it, Shuichi. What does that mean? Kaito, thank you. Thank you for being my, yes, clo my close I friend. Understand. All right. Now, get going before Kokichi comes back. Yeah. You're right. See you tomorrow, Kaito. Maybe it could fit through here. Man, no, uh, I don't think so. He's a, he's a big guy, yeah. He's a, he's a strong boy. But, you know, that comes with it. This is, is disadvantages, of course. After leaving Kaito with a smile, I return to my room. Nice. Oof. Oof. Is it nighttime hmm. already? No. There's no point in wandering around. I should stay in my room and relax. I tried to get myself into the right mindset for the final battle. While well, I was meditating on it. It, it became nighttime before I knew it. Okay, so at least you're taking some time, you know, to recover in your mental health and stuff. Nothing here. Yeah. Wow. Uh, um. We go out done. I won't hesitate anymore. Kaito has taught me. All right. I have to do it. To live. To find a reason to live. I will fight. I spent that night with that thought nestled deep into my heart. Oh, wow. Monokuma Theater. Don't panic, just stay calm and silent. Well, if you're watching this Monokuma Theater segment, it's already too late. You kids might not know, but to a 100% cotton mascot like me, hope is, well, the thought of seeing young people brimming with hope, killing each other just to survive. Watching their hope fade away, there's nothing more despair inducing than that. My dear students, carrying humanity's hope, betraying, deceiving and killing each other, it makes me oh so sad. Oh, how I long to see everyone's despair faces, soaked in blood and, the and tears. I've gone and done it. What do you mean you've gone and done it? Wait, what? And he said it's already too late, so... Huh? Hey, give, give me some of that. Some of that looks really good. Like, at least share some of that with us. Man, he's just going bad there without anyone to... Anyway, <laughs> after that empty announcement from Monokuma, I jumped out of bed. All right. Here we go. First, to the dining hall. I grabbed the electro hammer and ran out of, uh, and ran out of my room. Okay, now now he's been going on its own. I think that that's a, a side of his willpower. You know, a way to show that he's uh, willing to move without me even having to move him. It probably has nothing to do with that, you know, just in case. You know, I kind of believe that. I just remember, you can get into the cafeteria through here. Yeah. Oh, this is kind of a nice place, actually. Like, to eat and stuff? Yeah. That's weird that we never saw this. Uh, or we have never hanged our, around back there. It's like a really nice place, actually. Oh, hello. We're all here. Everyone. Is everyone ready? Yeah. Of course, my Electro Hammer is all recharged. <laughs> nice. At that moment, I realized one of us didn't have their Electro Hammer. Maki? Oh. Hmm. Maki, where's your Electro Hammer? Nope. I don't need it. I'd rather not use a weapon I'm unfamiliar with. Oh. Okay. This is much better. Uh, wow, um... a knife? Well, I suppose you know best. Hey. Then we're half. Hey. Uh, before that, there's something I want to say. I scouted out the hangar re uh, yesterday. You scouted out the hangar? Uh, okay. Yes, and I discovered that Kaito was trapped in the hangar's bathroom. I see. The bathroom, I see. That certainly is the best place to lock someone up. If I remember correctly. And I also saw... Yeah, the exercise. Hmm. Monokuma by the hangar, being protected by four exercise. Is that alright? So we have to be careful that we aren't spotted. <gasps> oh, I saw that too. Huh? What? You saw that? Were you at the hangar too, yes. Kipo? 
Yes, I thought maybe I could get through to Gokichi before we carry out our plan. So I went to the hangar last night and tr tried to talk to him. What? You tried to talk to him on your own? Well... I I'm sorry, I thought it'd be preferable for him to release Kaito peacefully. Hey! How did it go? As I thought. It went about as well as I expected. There was no response at all. But... But I did witness a few things. Huh? What did you witness? Well... We can discuss that later. For now, I'll share what I saw that's relevant to our plan. For now... That's a bit suspicious, Kibo. Shuichi saw four exiles that appeared to be guarding Monokuma. Well, I saw one of them enter the hangar. No. Just one? Yes. The green exocel. Okay. So that I was with the group, correctly. yeah. I'm sure he saw that one guarding Monokuma. I... I made sure to say out of sight while I watched. Neither the alarm system nor the electric barrier reached to the exocel's presence. Reacted. Does that mean that the alarm system and the electric barrier don't work on the exocels? That's right. Considering it's where the exocels are, st are stored, that would appear to be a safe assumption. Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah. Anyway, there are two exocels in the hangar. We should be careful. We only have one chance. Okay. Since this is our only electropomb, we can't afford to miss. You're right. That's exactly right, <laughs> yeah. Well then, we're out for real this Hold time. On. Let's go! We must end this killing game once and for all, no matter what. Let's go! Hey! Wow, energized and motivated, the group rushed out of the of the dining hall, one after the All other. Right. Here I go. Nice, let's go. Oh, nice, nice. Epic music. Very cool. Well, this is the music that sounds where where you uh, when you find the dead body, isn't it? That's kind of weird. New classmates of the dead. Yeah, that's that's the name of the, the of the theme. Okay, so I'm just gonna walk in case I find someone on the way, but if not, then I'll see you in the hangar. Alright, let's go inside then. Is everyone gonna be here? Everyone must have gone to the hangar already. I shouldn't be late. Yep, absolutely. So, are there gonna be exercises here? Oh. Oh, crap. There's, okay, there's three exercises here, hmm. so there's two in the hangar, yeah. Monokuma is not here. He should have been protected by the exiles. Yeah. And the exiles are like powered down. They don't look that they're going to move. What's going on? And there are only three of them. There should be two more in the hangar. It's true. It's just like Kibo said. We should consider ourselves lucky that there's only two. It's all, If all five of them are here, it'd be impossible to execute right. the plan. Let's keep moving then. There wouldn't be a way to execute the plan? Why? Because there will be too many of them. Can I hit this? Yeah. Is it dangerous to call Kaito for no? It, this will all be for not if Kokichi finds us. Okay. I agree. So, let's go. We're here. Well then. Everyone is here. Let's get started right away. Hmm. I'm ready. Are you okay? Maki, are you ready with the electro bomb? Hey. Who do you think you're talking to? It's similar to a grenade, except the detonation lags a bit after you push the switch. Once we roll this to the front of the shutter, it should disable the alarm system. That's obvious. This won't fail. Hmm. The electro bomb has an effective range of 50 yards and lasts for two hours. If Okishi's remote control is disabled, we'll stand a chance against the exocel. Right. Let's stop Okishi before he gets into the exocel. But be ready for the worst. We might have to use the electro hammers. If he gets into the exocel, I'll stop him with his hammer. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Let's What's do this. What's the matter? What's wrong, Monkey Roll? We're all ready to start, you know? That's true. Yeah, alright. Then, let's go. Monkey triggered the electro bomb, then roll it in front of the shutter. And then, it all powered down, right? Yep. Nice. Oh boy. Oh boy. 100%. The alarm system is disabled. Now we can approach the control panel. Shuichi. Will you do the honors? Leave it to me. All right, leave it to me. So, okay, we gotta hit the panel, right? With the uh, with the hammer. Yeah. Okay. All right. If I hit the control panel with this, as I swung up the electro hammer, I suddenly huh? noticed. I suddenly no. Oh, the scratch marks. Yeah. The control panel was covered in marks, as if damaged by something sharp. What are you trying to pull? what are you doing? Hurry up. Okay. Uh, uh, sorry, I've got it. No time to think now. I aimed my swing at the control panel and brought it down as hard as I could. Nice. Nice. The sound effect and everything. Cool. Oh my. 
The electric barrier turned off. Everyone! Let's go! We all ran to the shutter at once. Right. We won't let Kokichi do whatever he wants anymore. You better be ready. This is it. Or are we gonna get into a cutscene? The remnants of despair end here and now. After opening the shutter, we burst into the hangar, electro hammers in hand. Oh boy, to end this. To end this killing game. To end this despair. Oh, what is this? Oh, oh, Maki? Oh, keep up. oh no, is this a. Yeah, this is a buddy reveal. Oh no, oh no. Oh my gosh! No! What? No! What the hell? What? Oh, hi, Monokuma. Oh, a body has been discovered. What? <laughs> he knew. He knew we were gonna find the body. The body has been discovered. Everyone, please gather at the Exosol hangar. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the killing game just keeps going and going. The despair is not over yet. Huh? Chapter 5. Voyage without passion or purpose. Deadly life. What is this? What's going on? Chaos and madness. Compu confusion and turmoil. I, I couldn't stay calm. I couldn't keep it in. It was too much despair. Wow! Is, is that blood? The party discovery announcement. Does that mean someone's in that press? Who? Uh -huh. <laughs> the only ones in the hangar were Kokichi and Kaito. It must be one of huh? them. What? Either Kokichi or Kaito is dead? <gasps> Look! Oh huh? my gosh. Those clothes. Oh no. They're Kaito's. What did you say? Then the only that hydraulic press is... No, it's not possible. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Looks like you have a lot of twists and turns to sort out during the class trial. That's what the killing game is all about, after all. And so, I will now pass out the Monokuma file. Don't say you're getting bored of this, because things are about to get interesting. I hope you pour out your heart and soul into this investigation too. Oh no. What? Uh, hold on, we have to investigate? So the killing game is going to continue? The killing game will continue? <laughs> if the killing game is continuing and Monokuma is still moving then... That's right. It's not Kokichi, oh no! Uh. What was that? If Kokichi is still alive, then that means the one dead over there is... Kaito? That's wrong. Uh, that's not possible. There has to be some mistake. There's no way Kaito will die. It has to be a lie. I made a run for the body when. Uh -huh. Calm down. Maki's hand stopped me. Uh -huh. Calm down? How can you say that, Maki? Kaito is. Uh. I've seen so much death already. Death of both good and bad people. It doesn't bother me any bother Wait. me anymore. It doesn't bother you? What are you talking about? Shut up. More importantly, where's Kokichi? Why? Th that's right. I don't see him anywhere. He should be somewhere in this hangar. Right? He ran away. We need to catch him immediately. He's obviously the culprit. Indeed. Let's split up and look for him. Leave no stone unturned. You... Is he inside the exosols? I feel like he's inside one of the exosols. No matter how good at hide and seek he is, we can't let him get away no. with this. But wait. We can't leave yet. Uh, okay. We don't know for certain if that dead body is Kaito. We haven't explored all of the possibilities yet. Yeah, at this point I feel like it may not be Kaito. If it's not Kaito, then who's dead in there? Are you saying it's Kokichi? Then why is the killing game still continuing? Mm, and if Kaito is alive, why hasn't he shown himself yet? Uh, Are you saying he's hiding because he's the culprit? Don't say such a stupid thing. Kaito being the culprit is even more impossible than him being dead. That's Wait, impossible. what? I don't think Kaito could have killed Kokichi in the first place. He was wounded, remember? He was. Actually. 
and he and he even said goodbye I that felt like a goodbye when he talked to us and his opponent the mastermind of the killing game who controlled the ice cells at will how could Kaito have killed someone like that when he was sick and wounded no I don't know I just I'm just saying it's possible Ah, uh, and even if it's Kokishi that was killed, that doesn't mean that Kaito is the culprit. How? So, does that mean the culprit is one of us? Stop it! Wait, that's impossible! Right. No matter how shocking Kaito's death is, saying we're sus suspects is going too far. I guess so, I understand what they mean. The initial evidence suggests Kaito is dead, but I just can't believe that. Or perhaps I don't want to believe it. I can't believe Kaito is um. dead. Why don't you read the Monokuma file? We need to find the truth here, with our own hands, and reveal the truth Don't in the trial. Tell me. So, you want to continue the killing game? Because... A class trial will be had, uh, held either way. We should investigate. I don't know if we'll find hope or despair, but we have to find the truth. It all starts here. Yeah. You're an impressive detective through and through. You might not only reach the truth, but something even beyond this. Yeah, I found that interesting the first time that I heard it. That's right. I have to do this to keep my promise to Kai. Oh, sorry. To keep my promise to I Kaito. Understand. You're right. If, if the class trial is going to happen anyway, then we should investigate. Ah. But we already know the answer. But we can't die here. We decided to live for hope. But my main concern is how Kokichi will react if we accuse him of being the culprit. Mm. If he just plays dumb and runs away, there'll be nothing we can do. Yeah, he's good at hiding. But oh. No, I don't think so. Junko and Ashima cherish the killing game rules. Yeah, that's right. She she even she pretty much pulled the trigger on herself. So if the remnants of despair worshipped her, I don't think they'd ignore those. I don't know. The remnants of despair have always been like they, they've always had their own part in how they behave in regards to despair, like how they interpret it. Like she is definitely she definitely was the ultimate despair. But there's something about every single one that was unique about the, the remnants. That they treated things differently. Then, then it'll be easy to deal with them. We just need to vote for him in the class trial. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I understand the others. But why Maki? Why is she accepting Kaito's death so well, easily? Then. That's true. Yeah, that's weird. Well then, let's review the Monokuma file. Is that okay with you, Shuichi? Uh, okay. Yeah. Sure, let's do it. Oh wow, it doesn't even say who is. The body was discovered in the XSL hangar. The victim was crushed by the hydraulic press and is unidentifiable. But didn't the press have like a sensor for alive? For, for... Oh, I think I'm, I'm starting to understand. So, but is the crushing of the press the cause of death? Or is it, or, or did it not specify? I feel like it didn't specify the specific cause of death. That's it? That doesn't tell us anything. The identity of the victim is unknown? It doesn't even tell us that much. I don't care. It doesn't matter. We already know who the victim and the it's culprit decided. are. The culprit who killed Kaito is definitely Kokichi. No. Wait, Maki. There's still, it's still too early to decide that. Hmm. It's true that the evidence points to Kokichi being alive, but, but Kaito told me... Yeah... Don't you worry, I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. All you guys are working so hard, so I can just sit, ba sit back and relax. Yeah, he did say I'm... that. I want to believe in the promise Kaito made. I want to believe in that with me. Stop it. I refuse to investigate with you. Huh? What? Why? You don't know? You're not calm at the moment. Right now, you're acting like Kaito, back in Gonta's class trial. <sighs> it was like the, this at the time too, wasn't it? You can't fight despair with just belief. It's not that simple, I just sped into my mic, sorry. Maki turned her back to me and left. Maki... I think, yeah... Um... There's something about the air in here that's making me feel... off. I don't know if the electro bomb is to blame, or if I'm malfunctioning somehow. Oh, that's right, the bomb didn't make you malfunction. But I'm starting to feel somewhat sick. What? Unless it is the, the bomb. I don't feel weird at all. Then... 
It's gotta be because of the electro bump. Keep us an electronic appliance after all. <laughs> wow, don't kill me an appliance. Okay. I'm telling you, appliances should go rest outside. <laughs> wow. R really, I'm fine. But I suppose I'll go investigate outside for now. Wow, so he complied and everything? Keep us, keep us left the hangar swaying side to side a bit. Wow. Hmm. Then I think I'll start investigating too. Huh? Oh, will you be okay by yourself? I could go with you if you want. No. no, you don't have to worry. I'll be fine by myself. If the body's like that, then we don't have to worry about anyone messing with it. I guess so, oh, yeah. So it should be fine for us all to investigate by yourselves. Himiko left in a hurry. I don't like how this is looking. Oh, wow. She's all the way there. I wonder if Himiko suspects... Huh? Suspects who? Um, Everyone, I think so. Because if there's fewer of us, there's fewer people who could have been the culprit, right? Of course, it's obviously Kaukichi. But, like you said, there could be another possibility. Maybe that's what she's thinking. I did suggest that possibility. The culprit might not be Kaukichi or Kaito, but a third party. Anyone could be the culprit. Seems like... We were united towards hope before all this, but now we're split up. Could it be? Could it be that's why Kokichi killed Kaito? Huh? To disrupt our harmony. That could very well be. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Um, because if not, then what reason will we have to kill Kaito? Will he have to kill Kaito? Maybe that's what this trial is going to be for, too. The reason Kokichi is going to hold this class trial might be to separate us. To separate us. Like In the end, we were all gathered around Kaito. He was the one keeping us together. If that's why he killed Kaito, then we're completely caught in his trap. Kinda, yeah. This is all part of Kokichi's plan, to separate us. This is exactly what he wanted. We're split up. I can't get anyone to cooperate with the investigation. And we don't have much information to go on. The Monokuma file has been some help, but it's not enough this time. But No point sh standing around complaining. I just have to do it. Time to start. To solve this mystery and find the truth behind it. I'm going to begin the investigation. Wow. I'll start here. Ooh, the music changed. Alright, I'm going to investigate every single piece of evidence here. Oh boy. Okay, first can we investigate the yeah the panel? This controls move the hydraulic press. It can go up, down, and stop. I should be able to use the up button to, pre to raise the press and check the body. I don't want to see a crushed body, no matter who it is. But I have to do right. it. I have to know. I made up my mind, took a breath, and pressed the button. Oh, we're actually hmm. doing this? It's not moving? What? I pressed the button a few more times, but the press still Why? wouldn't move. Strange. It moved when I pressed it last time. After looking around the press, I found... <sighs> The power cord is cut. Are you serious? I see. There's no power, so the hydraulic press won't move. Hmm. This can't be a coincidence. The power cord was cut on purpose. This must be the work of the culprit. Hydraulic press has been added. Oh, wow. In that case, we won't be able to check the body. I'm honestly a little relieved, but I shouldn't say that out loud. Hmm. I should take another look at the controls. There must be some clue here. In addition to the control buttons, there's an emergency stop button. The press will have been stopped instantly if you use this. Well, well, if the culprit were planning this murder, they'd have no use for it. Yeah, definitely. What concerns me more is the safety function. Yep, this, the hydraulic press should have uh, had a safety function. If the infrared sensor detects a living thing, the press stops automatically. Well, it didn't stop when Kibo tried before. It didn't stop, yeah. But that's because he is not considered a living thing, right? If the sensor detected a person, the safety would have stopped the press automatically. Hmm. Yeah, stop automatically, huh? Safety function has been added. Oh boy. Okay, guys. So, I'm leaving this episode here. I am so sorry for leaving it on a cliffhanger. But things are picking up. Things are very much picking up and I want to see it as soon as possible and I hope you guys do. So let me know. Definitely leave a like if you want to see more of this. Thank you so much if you made it this far. I highly appreciate it. And again, let me know what else would you like to see in the future. We're definitely continuing this as soon as possible.
By the way, apart from continuing uh, Danganronpa, I've also restarted my... Well, not restarted, but resumed my Subnautica Let's Play. So definitely check it out if you want. Maybe it'll be entertaining, because we are making some good progress. And until you like it. So, thank you once again so much. Have a great day, guys. I'm Lucinel, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.